Do you know what happens to the food we eat? The digestive system is the part of our body that is responsible for breaking down food. It is composed of the following structures. Mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum. Do you know where your food goes after you've eaten it? When food is broken down into smaller pieces that can be dissolved and absorbed, it has undergone the process called digestion. Let's take a look inside the digestive system to find out. Our first destination is the mouth. The teeth in your mouth cut and grind the food until it becomes soft with the aid of saliva. After that, the food is swallowed and enters the tube called the esophagus. From the esophagus, the food is pushed down to the stomach, where food is broken down to smaller pieces with the aid of gastric juices. From the stomach, the food goes to the small intestine. Here, food particles that are not broken down into finer pieces in the stomach are refined by other digestive juices from the liver and the pancreas. The food is now in the liquid form called chyme. Digestion is completed in the small intestine, but not all liquid food passes through the walls of the small intestine. The undigested food goes to the large intestine and becomes waste. This waste is ready to be taken out of the body through the rectum and finally the anus. See? Your food has to pass through different parts of the digestive system before it can give you energy. Remember, food has to be digested to give you the needed energy to be able to play, walk, and work. Have you ever been in these situations? All of us may experience digestive ailments at one time or another. Can you guess what each child is experiencing? Click on each child to find out. Gingivitis. It is the inflammation of the gums. Tooth decay. It is the development of cavities in the teeth. When the cavities reach the root of the tooth, you will feel pain. Brush your teeth regularly. Visit your dentist regularly. Massage your gums regularly. Gastritis. It is the inflammation of the mucus lining of the stomach. Gastric ulcer. It is an ailment in which the juices are too acidic and may eat away or damage the lining of the stomach, thus forming an ulcer. Diarrhea. It is frequent bowel movement that may cause dehydration. Constipation. It is the failure to move bowels at regular intervals. Develop good eating habits. Avoid soft drinks, especially when you have not eaten your meals. Avoid drinking alcoholic beverages. Eat fruits and vegetables to prevent constipation. When buying food, be sure it comes in covered containers. Wash your hands before eating. Did you learn a lot today? Let's see how well you've learned the lesson for today. This 
concludes our lesson. Until next time.